we're the Clark family. My name is Carrie. This is Adam. We've got two sons, Elijah and Brady, a dog, Diesel, and two fluffy cats. And with all of us together, we are the Clark family. I served eight years in the Army. While I was overseas, I had some exposure issues and ended up with several autoimmune conditions, which led to my medical retirement. I served in the Army from 2002 to 2008. Dealt with some crazy stuff, and so I struggle with PTSD and anxiety. Well, short clip there. New episode of the Military Makeover with Montel. Travel around the country and give home makeovers to veterans. Their guiding mission says, quote, we as a nation need to serve them more after they served us, end quote. Joining me now is the co-host of the Military Makeover, Art Edmonds. Art, great to have you here. Uh, how did you guys start this project, number one? And then tell us a little more about the Clark family there and uh, who you're working with right now. Chris, great to be here. Thank you for allowing us to talk about the great things that we do on Military Makeover. Military Makeover is everything you love about a home makeover show uh, with the added benefit that every single person and recipient of the home makeover is a veteran. Uh, this particular couple you just saw, a dual veteran couple, we've had four on our show. And uh, we just shot, uh, finished shooting last week, our 30th family, our 30th season of Military Makeover. Uh, Montel leads the team. He's a veteran, of course. Uh, I tell the story of the makeover, Boots on the Ground, and we have a great designer, Jennifer Bertrand, who does all the design herself. And uh, with the help of companies and volunteers, we get it done. Uh, really cool. You said you helped 30 families so far. Uh, which one stands out? Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, they're all unique. They're all different. But I'll tell you, Chris, uh, we got the opportunity to do Debbie Hickson. Uh, a few years ago. She was the widow of the Parkland shooting, the Navy veteran gym teacher who tried to disarm the murderer at the uh, Parkland High School in Florida. And we got to take care of her and her special needs son. Um, every single one of our families is absolutely unique and deserving in their own way. And uh, we always like to tell that human side of what our veterans go through. You know, uh, Montel ends every episode of every season saying, don't just say thank you for your service, but show thank you for your service. And we try to do that in, in a small, little, entertaining, fun way. Well, what a perfect transition to my last question here. If folks want to help you in your mission, where can they go? What, what, what can they do to help? Uh, go to militarymakeover.tv, uh, be on the show. And you can nominate a veteran. Uh, you can volunteer to help us. We're going to be traveling all over the country. Uh, I think Indiana is our next stop this summer. Uh, we already have our family picked out. So we always need contractors and volunteers. And let me just say, Chris, it's such a beautiful show of unity uh, to have so many people from different political views and socioeconomic backgrounds come together for one purpose, put their differences aside and help out one of our deserving military veterans who we feel all of our veterans are heroes. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Art Edmonds, thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. Folks, you want to help out again, uh, you can check it out, militarymakeover.tv slash be, uh, be on the show or email them info at militarymakeover.tv. Info at militarymakeover.tv.